in New York, let's face it, I couldn't have done what I did here. I couldn't possibly rent such a large building. All the authorities would have been after me. My permits, my taxes. Here I just put a can with a slot in it for people to put their donations and I danced, whether anybody came or not. What was it like to try to build a life here um, in, in such an uh, unpopulated location? It was difficult because my marriage was going on the rocks. My husband was getting more upset at my popularity and played a token on my personal life. He left in 1982, and then I set up a schedule with Wilbert, and I created 12 different stage productions with him, which I couldn't have done with my husband. He wouldn't have wanted to be part of it. What did he do for a living? I hate to tell you this, but he had a side job working as a bartender at the local brothel. So what was that like for you? You said that he was jealous of your popularity, but he worked at a brothel. He got to meet the kind of people he decided were going to be part of his life. And this hurt me very much. Yeah. It's all in the book that I wrote. Let's talk a little bit about your popularity. You just are, for lack of a better word, just world-renowned. Um, people know you all over the place. How do you think that that happened and pe that you are a destination for people traveling ac across the United States to come see Marta Beckett at the Amargosa Opera House? I think that... <coughs> When I started to paint the murals inside the opera house, curiosity reeled its head. And people came to see what this crazy woman was doing and why was she doing it? Because when I started it, I was painting murals on a building I didn't even own. And people would say, what are you going to do when somebody who owns the building says, I want it back? You're going to have to leave. Mm -hmm. you know? So what happened with that? Well, I would say to them, nobody can take away the happiest years of my life. When I painted these murals, they will go with me wherever I go after this life. Mm 